Hello, my name is Adriana Lopez and I currently teach at Woodland Acres Elementary and I am a third grade teacher. Today I am going to be talking to you about maintaining parent engagement through communication. This is very important, especially nowadays, because we have to make sure that our parents are engaged consistently with their students' education. I have included this quote because I think it's very important. It reads, a little text can have a big impact. It can change a parent's engagement from reactive to proactive. This is today's agenda and I will be talking to you guys about building relationships, staying connected, the benefits, and your takeaway. The first point that I want to talk to you about is about building relationships. As you see in the picture, I feel that building relationships is much like planting a seed. Building relationships is important because I think that this is the main way to keep parents communicated. We need to make sure that in the beginning we dedicate time to reach out to our parents. Early communication with our parents will build trust and care between teacher and parents. And we have to make sure that we're not only sending those negative messages, but we're also spending time to send out positive messages, emails, or phone calls. I think that building these relationships is gonna help us in the long run, because when it's necessary to address a serious issue, parents are more receptive because you've already spent the time to build the relationship with them. The second point that I wanna to talk to you about is staying connected. There are many ways that we can stay connected with our parents. I'm going to talk to you about a few that I like to use in my classroom in order to keep that positive communication with my parents. Uh, there's a teacher webpage, school status, email, and phone calls. And of course, you have to make sure that you make yourself available to parents and share with them these different uh, means of communication that you have in order for them to all feel included. Staying connected. There are several ways that I like to stay connected with my parents. The first one is a teacher webpage. This is, I think, the easiest way that you can stay connected with your parents. This year, the district has made a big effort for us to maintain our uh, teacher web pages updated because it is all of information in one central location. At the beginning of the year, I spent some time filming a how-to video for my parents. That way, they knew how to navigate my web page, where everything was at. That way, throughout the year, they stayed connected and they stayed informed. The next one is school status. This one, I dreaded using. Uh, they pushed it on us, they pushed it on us, but I am glad to say that this is one of the f my favorite apps to use now. It gives you the capability to reach your parents individually, in groups, or by whole class. And individually, if you have to send a parent a message specifically to their child, you can do so. I have separated groups. I have a face-to-face -face group, I have a virtual group, and I also have a GT group where I can send those parents messages directly. Or, I also have a whole class group. If I have flyers that I need to send out, or that I know that may not make it home, this is the way that I communicate with my parents so that they stay informed and engaged at all times. This app also keeps a record of all your communication with your parents, including phone calls and text messages. The next one is very basic, is our email address. The parents have options to send me emails, files, pictures, anything that they need to send to me. Phone calls is also a way to maintain communication with your parents. Uh, this is my last resort. If I feel that I've already exhausted all my other channels, then I do pick up the phone and I call my parents and I let them know what's happening. And of course, I use school status. Uh, teachers benefit from these relationships because they are able to um, get to know the students and their home environment and they can apply this in order to um, meet their needs better in the classroom. The students also benefit from these relationships because they have increased motivation for learning, they, their behavior improves, they have more regular attendance, and a more positive attitude towards homework and just school in general. The parents benefit by becoming more confident about the value of their school involvement. The parents develop a greater appreciation for the important role that they play in their children's education. So for your takeaway today, remember, keep your webpage updated. This is the easiest way to keep parents informed. Send out positive emails, messages, phone calls. They don't always have to be negative. And always get back to your parents as soon as possible. Do not wait, make them wait too long. Building healthy relationships with parents is important for everyone. It increases parent involvement, and at the same time, it motivates our students and helps teachers get to know the students better. Although our classrooms may look different this year, we still have the same responsibility to effectively communicate with our parents and continue to keep them involved in their students' education. I want to thank you for your time. Again, my name is Adriana Lopez. If you have any questions about any of the information that I have given you today, feel free to contact me at the email address provided on the screen. Again, thank you so much.